Hello everyone, welcome back to ESC Variety Blogs and today we are still here at the Queen City of the South, Cebu City and we will be experiencing and having this adventure of traveling across this very beautiful and newly built attraction of Cebu City and that is the CC Lex. Yes guys, yang nasa itaas na po natin now is the newly built CC Lex which is now considered as the longest bridge in the Philippines and why it is considered na pinakamahabang tulay sa buong Pilipinas sa ngayon ay matutunghayan nyo po yan maya maya as we will be traveling across this one and bago natin ito tuloy yan I would like to shout out to my friend na talaga namang napakabait at talaga nag-volunteer na i-drive ako to just have this experience here in CC Lex here in Cebu City and yun nga lang hindi natin po hindi siyang i-shout out the name it kasi nga very private person nga ang kaibigan so sabi niya wag, wag mo lang ako kunin ng video and of course wag na lang i-shout out but anyway we have to respect that one but still I would say thank you very much for giving me that time na maipasyal ako dito sa CC Lex and our friends who will be watching this video of course could see how beautiful this bridge is and kung makikita nyo guys we are already here fronting the SMC side of Cebu and from the reclamation road kasi guys we need to come here at the seaside East M so we could have a urine slot Kasi hindi pwedeng doon, doon tayo mag-U-turn at walang slot doon for U-turn. So, we really have to come in here. Ayun, naka-U-turn na po tayo. And lucky because the traffic is not that heavy. And maya maya lamang ay sisimula na tayong aakit dyan. And you can see the beauty of this bridge really as in ginastusan talaga ito ng gobyerno. And congratulations naman and shout out because this is one of the program na talaga namang sinasaluduhan ng buong mundo ng buong Pilipinas ang ating PRRD dyan, ang ating President Rodrigo Rua Duterte of Davao City na talagang naituloy ito. But of course, this project was um, planned already before, long time ago pero nung panahon ng ating Pangulong Duterte, siya po na materialize and Luckily, because it's not very easy to travel from Cebu City and Cordova because this place, guys, this bridge is connecting Cordova and Cebu City. So, makikita nyo kung gaano kahaba yung ating biyahe. Actually, hindi ko talaga pin pinutol at hindi ko talaga inedit itong video na ito. So, you can see the total length of the bridge and how long we travel across this bridge at ito nga paakyat na tayo so when I traveled in this bridge there is really one question that came to my mind sabi ko ba't kasi pinaikot-ikot pa yung bridge but but pa kasi hindi nalang ginawang straight o di ba kapag ka straight medyo nakatipid sa, sa mga gamit nakatipid sa budget but of course I am not an engineer so may rason talaga yan kung bakit ganyan ang di it's not just for design purposes for the beauty purposes but I'm sure sa mga engineer dyan just comment it down below kung bakit kailangan gawin na hindi siya straight yung tulay and then as to the height naman talaga this bridge is very very high and imagine ko nga when I was here ito na yung pinakataas niya guys na part kaya paakyat tayo ng paakyat kasi dito is talagang very high ito siya na imagine ko na siguro napakaganda dito tumalon ano like it's not na ano ha but tumalon to the sense na like shall we say there is a bungee jumping or jumping adventure na and dyan from the CC Lex down napakaganda kasi napakataas niya and then I remember that there was a time that Dante Baruna I guess an actor shot a movie from San Juanico Bridge and dito na tulay siguro napakaganda dito tumalon so I just don't know if that would become possible na they will add an attraction at this bridge because like New Zealand guys diba there is a bungee jumping and one of the bridges in New Zealand and other countries also they are like developing another attraction out of the 
high bridge that they have so kaya nga pala pinataas na pinataas talaga yung CC legs na yan is because yung part na yun is dinadaanan yun ng barko and of course kailangan siyang napakataas and we are still here in this area and bumaba na po tayo guys so medyo nasa low area na po tayo but still it's the sea on the on both sides of the road ay dagat pa po yan ano so we are still on CC legs so ganun po kahaba yung ating tinabiyahe ganun po kahaba ang tulay na to guys so hindi siya maikompare as to San Juanico bridge when it comes doon sa haba but of course when it comes to the beauty of the bridge to the beauty of the design kasi yung ano kasi San Juanico bridge is talagang, talagang naka ano siya naka hang naka elevate siya but this one is there are parts of this bridge na akala mo hindi na siya tulay kasi medyo kaunting uh, ano lang is too big na so hindi siya ganun ka elevated in some areas but still this is a bridge yun nga lang hindi mo makikita yung poste na kasi naka, na, nakapaon siya lahat eh and then yung tubig niya nasa kaliwat kanan tubig pa rin pero wala kang poste na makikita so kung titingnan mo is just like a plain kalsada ganun is just a road and not a bridge parang ganyan but it's still part of a CCLX so tingnan mo kanina pa tayo naglalakbay but still we are here at talagang tuloy tuloy pa yung ating uh, takbo dito and it is very very clean so sabi ko nga Siguro kung inaalaw lang yung mga jeepneys to pass in here from Cordoba to Cebu City, then people from Cordoba could easily go to Cebu City. But until this time when I went there, hindi pinapayagan yung mga jeepneys yung mga nadadaan dito. So it's just the private vehicles ang pwedeng dumaan. As to the reason of why not allowing those public utility vehicles to pass this CC Lex hindi ko talaga alam so if you know the reason why then just comment it down below kung bakit hindi sila pinapayagang dumaan dito eh, anyway magbabayad naman sila diba so that is another income pa sana sa owner of this CC Lex because this is a private uh, bridge guys so whoever will pass in here should pay at uh, toll, toll pay so kahit sana ipadaan yung mga public utility vehicle so that would be more income for them but yeah still they did not allow those vehicles to pass kung anong rason yun na nga i-comment nyo below and then also in the past they only allowed motorcycle that is 150cc up to pass this bridge and lucky and happy are those people around Cordoba and Cebu City because lately they already allowed 100cc up to pass this bridge so if you are living in Cordoba so you can go to Cebu City already with your motorcycle so medyo madali na yung pag travel mo at medyo binawasan nila yung restrictions as to the motorcycle that can pass this CC legs and there is a motorcycle lane and I just don't know I forgot to ask if bicycles are allowed like mountain bike are allowed but I guess not because wala nakita when I pass this CC legs so this is the place where you have to pay and I appreciate the design of the toll gate guys because hindi siya doon sa part ng Cebu City wherein kung doon siya nilagay makakreate siya ng traffic but since dito na nilagay bandang Cordoba so lahat ng mga vehicles na coming into Cordoba is dito na magbabayad approaching Cordoba so yun ang mapapunta ng Cebu City so dito sila nagbabayad before entering so pagdating ng part ng Cebu City is talagang flowing lang yung traffic and wala nang hihinto because magbabayad pa which is 
the design really is great and kudos to the engineers and kudos to the partners and to the owners of this expressway in this bridge so akala natin tapos na tayo because we paid the toll toll pay already but no guys because we still have to travel because it's like we are three fourths palang dito sa CCLX natin binabiyahe sa ngayon and thank you really to my driver to my friend who drove me to this adventure and actually may pupuntahan pa ako na isang place here in Cordoba which is also very beautiful but of course I'll be doing a separate video for that because this video is purposely just for us to see the beauty of the CC legs yung full length ng uh, tulay na to na talagang napakaganda napakalaking tulong na ibigay to the people of Cordoba and other places in this side to Cebu City also na talagang nakapawas ito ng traffic because there are other way naman guys to come to Cordoba and Cebu City but itong talagang CC Lakes is napakalaking tulong ang naibigay and napakaganda pa that it adds attraction like me a tourist here in Cebu City so I have to come in here and of course it is an income for the drivers and thank you really for watching and we are now here at Cordoba so thank you so much and God bless